Let's get it. Let's go. Rome squad. We back in the building with another one. You feel me? Hey, I told y'all to stay consistent with it. You know what I'm saying? We back with it again and again and again and again. You feel me? Yarr. 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 Woman grabs man and instantly regrets it. We back with another one. You feel me? Arco TV. You feel me? It's like, nah. Um. I hope everyone having a good day. You feel me? Of course. And let's get into it. I hope this joint, you know, some entertainment, some like some some good ish. You feel me? Some good drama, beef. You know what I'm saying? Some, you know, good compilation. All that the third. And yeah. But um, shoo. Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below what y'all want me to react to for real. And don't 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 skip that part. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all watching. It's like now. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> uh, Grabs you in Soho and instantly regrets it. Did he bang your team? Did he bang your team? Hey yo, he hey maker her, bro. He hey maker her, bro. She out slump. She out man, Mike. Man, he hit her with the Tyson, cuz. He hit her with the Fury. Fist of Fury, bro. Hey, yo, bro. Hey, yo, bro. It, it, bro, a court. Man, this is what I hate, bro. Because if dude, if dude, if dude really telling the truth, if dude really telling the truth, and as she did, you know what I'm saying? You know, try to touch, the, touch his ish, you know what I'm saying? Now, him glassing her? No, that's not it, bro. You, 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 you knocked her out until next week, bro. You should have done that. Um, Let's be real. You shouldn't have done that. Uh, push her off, probably. But man, that's crazy though. Cause ima imagine, imagine, imagine if a dude touch her butt, bro. He, she might mace him. You know what I'm saying? She might uh tase him or something, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like so, I don't know. That must have violent happened. She's but you know this. You can tell the alcohol is in the air. You know what I'm saying? Everybody up here. You know what I'm saying? But I like how they all filming him. And he ain't filming nobody. He has to defend himself now. On the floor just because she's embarrassed. And so she should be. She's gone up to a random guy in the street. Tried to grab him in places that she shouldn't. And as soon as he's shown he hasn't liked it. She's just put herself on the floor like a child. I feel like. Hey yo. What the fuck was I thinking then? Hey yo. I take all that back. I really do. What in the world? Oh she a child child. She She's a. A. She not even a woman. She a she a girl, bro. She is a girl. She on the floor of embarrassment because she is drunk. This is why you do not drink. This is really ugly. They had me thinking that this is some fight night scene, bro. This is not. This is this is just dumb ish. A lot of people in the comments are saying this is a joke. People are laughing. If this was a guy doing this to a woman. He get arrested straight away. Aren't you or no aren't you? There's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the street. It's very disrespectful if your boyfriend likes other girls' bikini pictures. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Can't yeah. do that. Totally disrespectful. Okay. Do you post bikini pictures? Oh yeah, of course. Oh. Is that not disrespectful? Double standards. Too? Wait, no. Why no. is it? Why no. not? No, no. But no, why? It's not. That's trash. Why? Bitch. For it's real. Different. What do you mean it's different? It's just different. I'm female and he's male. I'm so sorry. Let go me, her that's hands, like such bro. an unwise investment to spend 200k. Diamonds oh appreciate. No, I would rather put that in a college fund for our kids or like. Yeah, they'll have that too. But this just sounds like not like real to me. You know. Really? Yeah. Well, for, like, I don't know. For me, like I told you, like my status is going up like i just did a music festival where i made 30 grand over the yeah. week in one weekend don't care don't care don't care still don't care like i need somebody who can be on that level right but the problem is like guys don't care about your money right you but know, i don't care i'm just i think you're gonna miss out on a lot of guys to me these are like crazy you can see the standards. craziness in her so eyes. today i listened to my dating coach she, she said you, you do not get your expectation you get your minimum standard what her wedding ring is at least five carats. Yeah. And her man is rich. And she's Pearl like, will make okay. a good wife, you know, bro. I kid you not. Like, oh, Pearl will make a good wife. 50 grand a month. Coaching women in love. To me, that sounds like a 200k Crazy love. engagement ring. Like, guys are going to hear that. 
and be and like, like no. hell no, that can no. go to the house. You have to have the man who's okay that with goes to maintaining you. She's delusional. She thinks a man's gonna buy her a 200k wedding ring. I don't know how she sees herself, but I don't think a lot of men are gonna see her the way she does. If a woman started telling that me she expected a 200 gram wedding ring, I'd think, do you even wanna marry me for me or just for the ring? That woman sounds way more interested in a lifestyle than she does a partner. This is a great question and one I kind of get often. So, so to answer that question, what I Greek god X has made himself known as a misogynist yet again, but Silence, woman! Women are gonna start throwing that word around everywhere now. The guy that doesn't pander to them or doesn't agree with feminism is all of a sudden a misogynist. This is what you can tell about a man based on his height. Oh, let me try. Here's what you can tell about a woman based on her weight. <laughs> it's funny because it's so accurate. A man will say something, oh, it's a huge fucking uproar. A woman says it, it's funny. It's being proven now with that Drew Afuelo, I think that's how you say it. If you've never heard of her, this is who she is. Fighting fire with fire doesn't help. To that, I say this. According to who? Yeah, if you guys aren't aware, this creator, Drew Afuelo, is coming under yes. fire on TikTok because of her hypocrisy, where she attacks and body shames men under the guise of protecting women. Now, her case is that she's just insulting the men back who body shame her, which isn't always the case with her. Even if this was the case, how does insulting people back get us anywhere? I mean, you will find almost no studies that tell you that insulting people back does anything of value. I could insult Drew Afuelo for her looks. There's a lot of source material. She could come at me. She could say I look like the stupider version of Linguini from Ratatouille. Where does that get us? What this TikToker needs to do is not act like they're def- Now, if he's taller than you, and he's taller than your dad, or he's the same height as your dad, you, you, your expectations should not be high at all literally at all because right there boom and boom because let's be real the six people who have good height like six and six feet and up bro they don't want your short ass they want good genetics they want a girl who's by not as tall but just as tall they don't want your short they don't want your short shit they want d1 babies they don't want your d3 juco babies Defending women. They just need to admit that they hate men. And believe it or not, this woman was featured in Damn, the cool gracious, bro. I thought she was in a fish tank, a crayon or something, bro. Oh my gracious. Why we make anybody famous, bro? Who like she's not tough. Like now I'm not saying I agree with everything that Andrew Tate says, but the fact this woman's been on New York Times and he's been banned from every single platform just tells you something about the world we're living in right now. And honestly, I don't watch her content, I can't stand her laugh, but most of the TikToks I've seen of her is literally her shitting on men. She says she's helping women, but I've not really heard her give advice to women or directly say to women, look, stay away from these guys, watch these red flags. It's literally just taking the piss out of a man's body or the way that he looks. I cleared a spot for you, brother. I cleared my sketch because you came from my fucking girl Tess, not on my watch. <laughs> First of all, let's get this out of the way. Tess Holiday is one of the most famous models in the world. Did you hear what I said? I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Keep to the Instagram and all your <clears throat> garbage content. And I can tell from your pictures that you're strong 5'5", five five, like on a good day. And I'm guessing from those feet that your shoe size is probably what, like an eight, eight and a half? Yeah. <laughs> She's attacking a dude for body shaming somebody else and she's doing that by body shaming someone. Listen, I don't care. Body shame away. But if you're gonna, you know, do a big song and dance about how great you are because body shaming is bad and then go and do it, you're a big fucking hypocrite, Drew. I think it's pretty hypocritical for girls to say they hate Andrew Tate, but Drew Ruffalo does the exact same thing to guys and they worship her. Ever notice how it's always the women in the comment section of the body positivity posts that are making excuses for their obesity and never the men? Wild. Yeah, you don't hear fat men trying to convince everybody that they're curvy oh instead my. of overweight. Oh my. you get a bunch of fat men? Bro, she just violated, bro. She just violated shorty. And they're trying to force women to be Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm okay, I'm okay, thank you. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey yo. Oh! <laughs> hey yo, okay, God. Thailand, here I come. I told you, huh? 
<laughs> Bruv, I'm not saying you're not looking in shape and some of those women aren't attracted to you, but they would literally be doing that to any guy walking down that street. They just want your money. I like girls without Damn. makeup. Well, I like boys without opinions. I like women who know how to shut the f up. For real? How does that sound? Yeah. See, it don't sound too good when a man says it, does it? Huh. Yeah, that's how we feel. Yeah. I like women who ain't miserable as hell and take it out on every single man they ever seen. Uh. Solely because they're bitter, broken, and suck at making decisions. How about Ooh. that? Say what? Say son. Say it again. So yeah, that woman just caught Chris Brown's shirt, and all I've got to say to that woman... Stop it. Get some help. Wait, how long is your daughter? Don't idolize. So where's her father? What's going on with you guys? Um, he's in the hospital, so... Yeah, he's been, he's very ill, so I'm looking for, like, a stepfather. Wait, so you broke up with him while he's in the hospital? No, I, no, I didn't break up with him. Were y'all not together when he went to the hospital? Yo, this, this generation's sad, bro. It's, man, I, even though y'all not married, bro, but, like, say if dude do get better, bro. Say, say if that is a possibility, bro. Even you by his side, bro, that moral support could just change every dynamic of his recovery or his or just his healing process bro like say 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 like um man hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on uh man because like when you do your marriage vows bro it's through it's like it's through uh, thick and thin and better you know what i'm saying through sick and through, through sick and whatever bro like you know what i'm saying like come on bro like where the good shorties at now bro? yeah we, we're still together huh wait okay oh hell i'm looking nah. for like uh you know just in case a stepfather just in case just in case if he passes away right are you serious yes kendra you have to have one in it yo i hope whoever i hope no buffoon gets with her now bro that that literally just I feel bad. Like I know this is probably old, bro. But for the dude, dude, I hope dude got well, and he got well to the point where he prospered, bro. And, and he just got his kid and he left her, bro. Honestly. In the chamber, Kendra, come on now. This shit is wrong in so many ways. You're literally looking for a replacement whilst he's probably dying in hospital. You're meant to be there through the good and the bad times, sickness and health. Whether you're married or not, you got a fucking kid together. When she grows up and she sees that, she'll probably be ashamed of you. If a woman's only there for you through the good times, she belongs to the streets. Hey, Ron, squad, make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again for another one. Peace.